Archie joins me now. <laughs> so departure. So I see the ads for this and think it looks brilliant, but it's all about a plane vanishes across the Atlantic Ocean. For someone like me who's a terrible flyer, should I watch all of this? <laughs> well, you know, I've heard that story so many times that so many people have seen the trailers and they're so scared of it. And they all watch it because I think we're so fascinated and we're fearful mm -hmm. of flying. And I was in two minds as well. As an air crash investigator, how much resources they put in when there is, a, um, there is an accident and how many changes are implemented immediately. So I kind of feel pretty safe. Yes. And it is still statistically the safest mode of, mm -hmm. well, of it's transport. It's a great series. And you, you're executive producing it, so you're, I am. you're across everything. So it's a, it's a yeah, great it's quite, series. I mean, it's a lovely title, but it's nice because I'm able to give ideas and have a look at the edits. So it's been a really, really good educational job for me. Yeah, yeah. Well, you've, you've just done so much. We mentioned East is East, 1999. Are we serious? You credited being on this very show. I did. We did the premiere. Helping you do That's this right. sort of crossover to we America. We did the premiere of East is East in Salford. And I did the interview and she was lovely. And then cut to moving over to the States. The first thing they said to me is, do you have any footage? of you doing interviews, because that's the way they sort of get other television interviews. And of course, Lorraine's interview helped me. So My goodness, grateful. so that's been shown lots of Everyone. times over there. That's an incredible story. And you spent a lot of time over there. I mean, most of your work really has been based in America. Yeah, right? New York, LA. I mean, as an actor, you just never know. You never know. I, I always say I live in a suitcase and, you know, wherever the work is, you no, just of travel. Course. But you're working with all of the greats and then, of course, winning the Emmy for The Good Wife. None of the photographers you know, knew who I was, so they put the cameras down and suddenly I won the Emmy and everybody wanted the picture. So it was a, it was such a lovely feeling. And it wasn't always the easiest time to get to where you are now, of course, though, Archie. You went over there initially and there were agents saying, oh, you're just not going to work over here. Well, there weren't that many people that looked like me. There weren't, there were hardly, I think it's safe to say there weren't any Indian women really over there working. And so I was advised that it would be a struggle. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that helped me in a way to just realise how hard it would be. But... And to think EastEnders turned you down. I know. When you were, what, what, 12, 13, was it, maybe? Yeah, I still, you know, it's funny, I still feel the pain. Does it still hurt? And then I hope one day I can go back and, <laughs> you know, be on there. But yeah, I, I, think you might, I think you might be all right, you know. <laughs> But you were just a kid at that stage, but obviously yeah. you still had that passion to perform. Yeah, and it would, have been, it would have been, you know, good discipline for me. I think, you know, the soaps, sometimes people are a bit snooty about them, but I think they offer great careers for actors, particularly when you're older or when you're just starting out. So, yeah, you know, who knows? Of course it does. And tell us about working alongside David Jason, one of my favourites. Oh, my favorite. gosh. A small stint on Still Open All Hours. So, you know, it's been a good year. But having one of those greats and then working alongside him, he, he just lives up to expectations, doesn't well, he? We, we're very privileged to have had him here meet your heroes because you get disappointed. But I have to say with all those three men, it's just they've exceeded my expectations. Well, you speak of, of Mark yeah. Ruffalo and that's, that's a project coming up later in the year that's well right. for us to see at least. And that's, that's quite right. an intense drama. It's again, very intense. And um, we do a lot of improvisation in this and I have really long scenes with Mark Ruffalo. So I was a little bit nervous, but I mean, phenomenal actor and an even more phenomenal um, person. Yeah, and a lot of it's, it, it's almost improvising, isn't it? As much as yeah, there is a script, they, they allow the director's you to sort of... written it as well, so in the middle of shooting, he sometimes just shouts things out, and um, well, he never shouts, he says it. And, you know, we just improvise, and it is, it is really challenging, because it's out of my comfort zone, but I kind of like that. I mean, having new challenges as an actor, you know, it's, it's important. Yeah, and to think your mum wanted you to be a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> now you get to act. <laughs> Potentially act one. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. Exactly, you can do it. It's great to see you, Arch. It's such a delight to have you back 20 years later. Thank you. And lovely to meet you too. And Good Departure, it's the third episode uh, tomorrow night, 9pm on Universal TV. It's so good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great to see you.